Hi, I'm Sue Chef, and I'm here today with Christy Nixon from Tender Ridge Angus Beef. We are gonna make you look like a superstar. Making it real. Real people cooking real food. We have a recipe that is so easy, so delicious, and the key is this wonderful piece of meat here. We've got a little New York strip from Tender Ridge. Tell me why Tender Ridge is so much better than the other meats that we usually get. Sue, so look at this cut of meat. It tells its own story. The marbling is spectacular. It's all aged beef, a minimum of 14 days. It's all hand selected. Additionally, we have more than a dozen uh, control points that we to ensure the tenderness of this meat. I can tell just by looking at it. And you were right, when you said marbling, that's a big thing that I look for anytime I pick meat. You wanna look at the fat that's interwoven between the muscle, and that's what gives it its tenderness. That's absolutely right. And if it's spread evenly, you're gonna have a really tender cut. So with this New York strip, as you can see, I've given it a little olive oil massage, and really, you don't have to do a lot to it. Because it tastes so great, that's all I'm gonna do. I have a pan that's been heating up here. You want to get it fairly hot so when you hold your hand above it, about one inch, you can feel the heat. And we're going to sear it. Hear the sear. I love that sound. <laughs> Music to our ears. It is. And now as we're searing it, the reason we do that is because it seals in the juices. Searing Absolutely. simply means heating your pan up very, very hot and quickly cooking the outside of your steak. So we're going to cook it about a minute to two minutes per side. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Let's flip that and see how it's doing. So that is almost done cooking. We've got the fries in the oven, the steak fries. We're gonna take this off the pan, we're gonna let it rest, and in a few minutes we'll come back and we'll start assembling. Okay, sounds good. Well, I think our fries are done, Christy. Look at those. Oh, they look terrific. Perfect. And our meat has been resting, it looks fantastic. Now we know when we cut into this, all the juices aren't gonna flow out because that's what happens if you don't re let your meat rest, very important. And again, we're gonna slice it very, very thin because we're gonna make little bite-sized appetizers. And we wanna make sure that you don't get too much of a mouthful. We're gonna go against the grain. So you can see that the grain of the steak is going like this, and I'm gonna go like that. So it'll just make it that much more tender and easy to eat, even though this piece of steak is so tender, tender already, it melts in your mouth. Look at that, these little tiny delicious bites, very medium rare, and of course, if you wanna cook yours a little bit longer, remember the hand trick, you can, you can cook it longer, just make sure you're, you're feeling it as you go to make sure you've got the proper temperature. You know, Sue, and this cut of meat is also great on the grill outdoors. Oh, absolutely, New York Strip is fantastic. <laughs> And these are exclusive to Spartan, Spartan stores. stores. If you right. want some of this delicious tender, tender ridge, you go to Spartan, Spartan stores, stores, you ask for it, and you are going to just absolutely See. love it. So now what we want to do is we're going to start plating these. They're a little bit hot. That's OK. Yeah. you got to get used to burning your hands yeah. in the kitchen every now and then, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, Sue. Christy's regretting working with me, I think. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna take our steak and we're just gonna lay that on top. Actually, I did skip one step. We, we wanna put a little of this delicious Spartan steak sauce Absolutely. on there, really great steak sauce. Sometimes it comes out a little fast, so you wanna be careful when you put that on there. And it's okay if it drizzles over the side a little bit. That kinda looks cool, I think. It makes for a great presentation. And the way you laid these out, Christy, is really pretty. It's kinda like a, a little starburst. Look at that. Mm, oh, my the mouth smell is, is, is terrific. My mouth is watering. Yeah. And now we're finishing off with this beautiful fresh thyme. Smell that. Don't oh. you love, I love the smell of fresh herbs. Really delicious. We can make you look like a master chef if you just follow these little easy recipes. That's right. And remember, we're just real people. Real people cooking, cooking real food. food.